Come on. This one is annoying me. Yeah. No one creeped up on me a bit there though. But we've already got a 25. Whoa, we did not expect them to run me over that. Shit, I might be in trouble. Here. It's got a lot of time to shoot down. Shit load of them over here as well. To be careful, that's stray too much. The ammo was a good call, I think I would have died if I it. See if I'd had 100% health, I still probably would have been okay. I'd be too sure. I know, it's not clear yet. Come on, let's get 50. 50 might be the score to beat. Get him. Done that. I think we did okay. Sometimes our requirements to blow cars. Ah, oh, it was as well. It's so annoying. We come to BB45. I think we got about 52 kills then. Uh, free headshots, that was easy enough as well. Just fortunately the vehicles. I should have used my grenade, but it wasn't to know. Of course, next time we take it on, I do know now. And uh, yeah, I think it's... Gold's very achievable there. All I have to do is chuck a couple of grenades that I didn't do. And uh, we've seen... I am capable of getting 45 kills, so let's just get soda for a bit of health. In previous GTAs, it has replenished health. I am sort of guessing on this one, but I think it does. It certainly does not lie. Just what I yes, there we go. It replenishes a lot more than it does in other games as well, so that's lovely stuff. Free dollar. Free health upgrade. That's why shops like this are always worth stopping at. No, nothing to do except the Chinese dude's mission again. We'll go and do some other side missions, but I'm not going to stray and do too many side missions in a row. I will generally sort of spread them out throughout the walkthrough because. Once the story mode's done, I'll be doing a lot more as well. But uh, yeah, similarly, I don't like to leave all the side missions at the end. I like to sort of uh, fit them in here and there. Do you have a hell of a lot of ammo right now? You the sure carbine actually, it's lovely stuff. I'm going to put it with sword for the rest of the run with this. This weapon, anyway. Here is Crystal Mates, get it. I was right, this is a good mission. Quite a long run as well. But you kill a fuckload of people here. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I have proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn axe. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those There's about 12 of these guys, brothers, by the way. <laughs> I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. 
<laughs> so they've stole the deal with Chang, pretty much. Trevor ain't too happy, as you can see. So an unhappy Trevor, I think everyone goes down. It's like one man army. Well, all the protagonists are, to be fair. That's what I'm oh, that's why I mentioned in the previous episode. Sometimes they just automatically change the radio station. So let's see what Trevor's preferred one is. Channel X, really. That surprised me, <laughs> to be honest. So, where are they? They're on the other side of here, just by the air. Uh, strip, I think. Yes, indeed. And uh, we're going to end up destroying this whole building, this whole farmhouse. Um, with gasoline, I think. So, it'll be the first time we're given a gasoline tank. You fuck you fuck you Trevor it's business that wide-eyed idiot was mine it's business Bella you want to discuss it we're at the farm Ernie Earl Walton Wynn Dale Doyle Daryl Dan all of us start writing those names on tombstones cuz I'm on the way to your lab and we're gonna see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done holy shit uh, God, that thing was there, but uh, yeah, big mistake from Elwood. Sort of inviting him down. So, sniper time. You can snipe a lot. I generally just don't really bother actually much on this mission. I'll give it a try to get as many as possible. But they get close to you pretty quickly, so um, usually I just sort of go and blast it. I can take a few out with the sniper though. I do keep my distance, of course. I'm at less risk of losing health. I haven't got a great deal right now. I have a tad of heavy armor still. A super heavy armor. He's and all my health, but um, yeah, there's going to be a hell of a lot of people here. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many hey, brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm going to do it. Take down reacting guards. There we go, one guy down. There's a few over here. Did I just kill three people with one bullet? I might have, you know. Go on. Uh, right, where are the others are? I see someone on the map. They got thermals on this or anything. So fuck it, yeah, let's just head on in. Maybe do spot some more, I might try and uh, snipe them from distance, but yeah, generally I'm not too fast. Let's grab those weapons. I think they've faded. Sometimes they just sort of disappear after a certain time. Now, oh, there we go, this first one in the house. I think almost all of them are going to be in the house now. Guards are looking for me, really. Joe, don't give two shit. There's one. One up here. So it's gone well so far. I don't really care too much damage. Uh, the tougher bit is yet to come, I think. Oh, there we go, my armor's gone. Shit. Yeah, it's time to head in. Fuck them off now. It's on. Probably a shotgun is better at close range, thinking about it. So I might utilize this. I still have a tear gas canister if it needs to be. Because, uh, yeah, wow. I really am quite low in health right now, but I've killed almost all of I need to down here now, and there'll be one down here. 
So there we go. Just got the jerry can. And uh, you've got to make this trail. Starting... How the fuck do we do this? Oh, we're going to hold that. Oh, right. So I'm just there. Uh, to carry on up, and uh, the yellow blips will disappear as you successfully do it. Um, once you shoot the line, it will go straight down to the meth lab, which of course is incredibly flammable. And blow the fucking shit out of this. Then I think, uh, I'm not sure the mission's done after that, I'm pretty sure you might have to... Let's cut this out. I'm pretty sure you might have to um, chase the, the Roneals. Uh, and if not in this mission, certainly the next one or two. Once Trevor goes to the main city though, you do come back later on to take out some of the remaining O'Neills. Of course, as I said, there's so many of them. <laughs> Trevor just, you know, they're not going to let the beef go, of course, after Trevor does this. So if you do gasoline trail, use me shittest weapon and bam. That's it for this. Nice little cinematic you get in a minute. So I did that quite quick, uh, I did snipe a lot, I did get spotted by the guards, so maybe that might be one of the requirements to do gold. And uh, it said the mission mightn't even be done, but uh, I think I did that section reasonably well. Just gonna get away from the farmhouse now. That does imply that this might be the end of the mission then. Yes, there we go. Ah, god damn it, no. No gold, it was the accuracy one. I did get two beds on silent him, but I'm guessing that was that I killed more people. Uh, than, you know, uh, I killed three of one bullet, I think, at one point. But, let's see if this has appeared on here now. Still saying I'm on a mission, so it's gonna wait for it to clear. And I'll check what the accuracy required is. I'm going to guess 50%. People are shooting through the windows, let it down, really. If I'd have known, of course, I'd have been a lot more uh, careful for my shooting. Who's this messaging me now? Hey, Trevor, meet me down at the lodge and we'll go hunt some real game. So, the excellent Cletus is available. He is just up here, so we'll see him. Then he'll take us in there, we'll do a little uh, session of shooting deer. Then he leaves you to it and says, take a Go on, take a photo and send it to me, so you'll do that. Then we unlock the deer hunt mini game. So next time I'm in the vicinity you'll do that. I'm not gonna go on me way too much to do it. Yeah, certainly not just yet. So wow, eighty percent accuracy you need. Uh there's a case of getting really clo up close with them then I think to do that. I still think it will be doable, but it's tougher than I thought it might have been. So I know of messages, nothing to do now except head towards Trevor Phillips' uh, home slash caravan. <laughs> so let's yeah, let's go. Um, I think the next mission is surely the caravan one. We have to destroy it. It's been a while since we've done that. I still do have these sticky bombs on me, so we can make use of them now. I love these little off-road, like, what's, by the way, in this game. I really like them in San Andreas, but they're so much better on this, because there's so much more room to use them. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? Oh no, wow. I tell you what, the caravan thing might have just been a, an extra option that I didn't utilize last time around. I think this is the mission where you go to Los Santos, the, the city, and find Michael. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked a teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up before I molest. Yeah, wait, it's a fucking idiot. Anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? 
Amanda?